in our previous video on fact versus opinion under cholesterol we had a detailed discussion about seven country trial seven country study and it concluded that the increased cholesterol is not a culprit to have a higher chance of getting heart attack in the future because the relationship is not same in all the country as well as the age because in elderly age and younger age group the the level of cholesterol behave differently predicting the heart attack and stroke risk now during this 1960s where the initial study was published until 2020 we are still holding on to this cholesterol theory and all the protocols or the guideline which recommend saturated fatty acid and to reduce cholesterol are still present so there is no reason for us to hold on to this still uh, in fact that evidence was against cholesterol uh, but another surprising finding is even during that period where the main focus of cholesterol is uh, based on that seven country study there was another trial called minnesota uh, experimental uh, trial uh, or uh, yes minnesota coronary experiment this minnesota coronary experiment was done during the same period of seven country study but the uh, data was not published and it been shelved and no one really know why it was not published until it was reinvented again and got published in the british medical journal in 2016 now what does that study shows this uh, minnesota clinical experiment actually is a double blinded randomized controlled trial now this specifically saying randomized trial is very important because the randomized trial are more specific to the conclusion when compared to the prospective uh, epidemiological trial the previous trials are all uh, prospective trials there is no control group but in the randomized control trial it's a control study it means you have two group one you do the intervention another group you don't do the intervention and whatever the benefit should be only in the group which we do intervention where the other group should not show any benefit so it is easy to find and can have a conclusion so here the same hypothesis is placed forward if you have a high saturated fatty acid in your diet you are going to have high cholesterol level in your blood and if you have a high cholesterol in your blood you are going to have a higher chances of death because of heart disease it's very simple now in this trial there are uh, more than uh, uh, 9000 people followed up to more than a year and the trial was done between 1960s and 73 now the result came what they did is in the randomized trial they replaced the saturated fatty acid with uh, plant based or vegetable oil which is rich in linoleic acid so one group of people were actually taking the high saturated diet which they know it's going to cause heart disease and the other group the saturated saturated fat has been replaced by plant based diet which is a linoleic acid rich in uh, vegetable oil now as it is predicted they got the first half of the study right because when you replace the saturated fat with uh, vegetable oil there is a reduction in cholesterol level very good now the first half is right now they didn't get the second half wrong, right because when there is a reduction in cholesterol level it is been assumed there is going to be a less death in that group but in fact it came out in the contrary there is a increased death in the group where there is low cholesterol when compared to the people with high cholesterol this was a very surprising finding right against the concept of high cholesterol causing death now why it is so now the reason is when they did the analysis they found out in younger age group there may be a correlation between cholesterol but we have to be very careful we at that time of doing the trial we don't know about the other factor or other risk factor which causes heart disease so it can be smoking it can be obesity it can be hypertension present along this group so we don't know really but in elderly group the risk of death is high if you tend to have a low cholesterol level so in fact in the entire group when they did for every 30 uh, mg per deciliter reduction in total cholesterol level increase your risk of heart disease by 21% it is what contrary to what we believe 
and second if you go to the elderly people whose age uh, greater than 60 years or 65 years in fact the same 30 milli milligram per deciliter reduction of total cholesterol in fact raises the uh, risk up to 30 to 35 percent so in fact by reducing your cholesterol you are putting this patient's life at risk because they are going to have more chances of getting heart attack now keep it is that way and then there is another group of study which is called framingham they started in 1948 and they are carrying out the study until today in 2020 where we are speaking about cholesterol here initially when they started it is only total cholesterol and triglyceride there is no other component of cholesterol has been identified so they always focus about total cholesterol and they did find that triglyceride a relationship with cardiovascular death is not that supportive so they left the triglyceride they pick up the cholesterol and they did most of the study with the cholesterol and later they came up with a component of this cholesterol very low density lipoprotein high density lipoprotein very low density lipoprotein which is hdl ldl and uh, very low density all this component of cholesterol has been again evaluated because they are not able to give a conclusive evidence that high cholesterol is causing death so they figured out into ldl and also if you think even in that trial when they showed that cholesterol is a major cause of cardiovascular death it's not cholesterol is independent it is also associated with hypertension it also associated with left ventricular hypertrophy uh, so left ventricular hypertrophy means if you are have a high blood pressure for a long period of time your heart muscle is trying to push the blood against this resistance so the ventricular wall the heart muscle become thicker and thicker so it shows these people have been long having hypertension which is not controlled so when all these things together it predict the increased cardiovascular death so they picked up ldl hcl and finally they came up with a ratio of uh, total cholesterol with the good cholesterol which is the hdl level so even in framingham study they were not able to relate the high cholesterol or ldl level to cardiac risk as your age progress so the relationship between the cholesterol and your heart disease is not well established and most of the studies which say it well established as erogenous because many of this data which come from uh, meta analysis with more than 40000 60000 patients fail to show the relationship between the cholesterol and the uh, heart disease now recently when so much of focus has been positioned about the ldl level there is a meta analysis published in 2016 looking at whether this ldl level is actually correlating with a death or death because of heart disease now for every researcher there is a small dilemma whether to take the end point as death because of heart disease or all cause mortality now let me explain this is the reason why different trial is showing different outcome uh, any trial will be highly recommendable can go to the policy decision if they take the end point as all cause mortality why now let me give a small example uh, you design a trial you have a uh, 10 people you give cholesterol diet and they are very high in cholesterol and other 10 people you give a low cholesterol diet and they have a blood have low cholesterol and you follow them for 5 years in the first group with high cholesterol let's say there are five death Uh, uh in the second group uh, there are only uh, two death so you correlate five death in high cholesterol and two death in low cholesterol and all the death is because of heart disease so the conclusion is very easy if you having a high cholesterol in your blood you are tend to have a death because of heart disease because five of them have already dead in five years here it is protected against heart disease only two of them are dead now when you go to the all cause mortality and when you do a detail investigation into sub group we found out in the second group actually there are six death but only two death is because of heart disease and remaining four is because of cancer now how would you interpret it now let me tell you these four people who died of cancer died early in the study within one or two years 
So let me put a hypothesis. If these people stayed alive without cancer, then probably they would have died because of heart disease. How could you refuse it? So probably uh, I will come up with two conclusions. Number one, the all-cause mortality, it's very bad in the low cholesterol group. So this is the group which has been affected because of low cholesterol. And there are many studies now showing people with low cholesterol have a higher chances of death because of cancer. So all these things put together, all-cause mortality is a very important predictor to say whether your uh, intervention has helped or it doesn't help. Now, in the recent meta-analysis, they took LDL and almost 60,000 plus people has been followed up for uh, many years and they found out in the group where there is low cholesterol, there is high mortality. All-cause mortality is very high. And if you go to the people, elderly people, then the risk of death even because of heart disease also is high. After all this discussion about cholesterol, let us put all these arguments and come with a conclusion. Now this conclusion is not my opinion. This is based on facts which has been already published in the peer review journals. So whatever the conclusion we are going to make is based upon the fact. It's not an expression of my own interest or is one, my own opinion. Now, uh, is, it cholesterol, is it cholesterol, having a high cholesterol level in my blood is good or bad? As per the data available, if you are younger, having a high cholesterol level indeed seems to be a little bit bad and risk with cardiac disease. But remember, it is not the cholesterol alone. It is a presence of other comorbid illness. For example, if a obese person with a central adiposity and a diabetic younger age group having a high cholesterol should be corrected. But if it is independently the person is having only high cholesterol, it is only showing healthy, it is not a disease to be controlled. So cholesterol when associated with other risk factor will accelerate your chance of getting heart disease in the future. But presence of high cholesterol in the blood independently cannot be considered as a risk factor. Now second, if you try to reduce cholesterol in the elderly group, because in elderly group many trials, whether it is of total cholesterol or LDL, all have shown these elderly people should have a high cholesterol in their body. High means it should not be extremely high, there is a median level. But putting them on drug or trying to reduce their intake of cholesterol and reducing the cholesterol level, in fact, put them at higher risk of heart disease itself and also intracranial hemorrhage and uh, predispose them to having a neurovascular disease like uh, dementia and Alzheimer's disease. So basically, the cholesterol theory has been busted, even the data which is available with the medical community. But they are not expressing it and change, and they are not ready to change the guideline due to reason which is unknown. And meta-analysis after meta-analysis also shown there is no relationship between high cholesterol and cardiovascular death. In fact, the LDL, which is the LDL or we call it as a bad cholesterol, which everyone is so afraid that I'm having a high LDL, I need to reduce it by medications or controlling my diet have not shown related to heart disease in the future. In fact, a recent meta-analysis on LDL published in 2016 has clearly shown every 30 uh, mil, uh, milligram uh, per deciliter of LDL you are reducing, you are increasing your chance of risk of heart disease by 20%, any age group. At the same time, if you are an elderly age group with more than 65 years, and then if you are trying to reduce your LDL of about 30 millimeter per deciliter, you are increasing your risk of, do uh, risk of death because of cardiac disease almost by 30%. So as a conclusion, I want to conclude cholesterol theory that cholesterol causes heart disease is a myth and people should be wary about it. And it is also the medical community is holding on to something which they should let it go. The cholesterol theory seems to be attractive in 1960s and earlier uh, 70s where guidelines are made. But now in 2020, there are enough data available and published. This should not be 
pursue further. Thank you.